in this video i'm going to walk you through how to design a special father's day card in photoshop and this is coming up so here in photoshop to create your new document you go to file new to create your new document and i'm leaving this document in inches so four by four inches and then the resolution to 300 pixels per inches and then i'll hit on create okay so i will have to add a solid color to this so i'll move to my notepad and then copy the color code for this document so ctrl c to copy the whole thing and then move to my color adjustment area and add a solid color to this by pasting the color code all right so i will again move to my resources and then add a background color to this so i will drag and drop this background image in photoshop all right so i'll drag and drop the whole thing like this okay so i'll hit on ok right click on the layer and then rasterize the whole thing but in this case i'm going to set the opacity to 21 so i will be setting the opacity to something low something 21 like this okay so i'll still move to my resources and then add the second image to this document so i'll drag and drop this image into photoshop like this okay so right click and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise all right so i will still make an adjustment to this by holding ctrl t all right so drag the whole thing on top like this and then go to my blending options and then i'll set this to overlay and then i'll keep my opacity to 21 so i'll only type 21 percent here like this okay so 21 and then hit on ok all right so i'll right click on the layer to rasterize the whole thing and then i'll add a layer max to it and then i'll hit on b which is the shortcut key for my brush too okay so i'll brush all these places off so i don't actually need all these places okay so i only hit on v to activate my move tool, and then i'll still go back to my resources and then add a picture all right so drag and drop this nice image into photoshop like this and then make sure i will transform the whole thing to fit my document so i'll have this there and then i will still make a little bit of transformations to this and then i'll hit on enter okay so i'll be having this one here like this all right so Control r to activate my rulers and then i'll drag the first one here and then go for another one and then place it here like this okay so it is time for us to add our test to this document so i'll hit on t to activate my test tool and then left click and then i'll go for happy so this is actually a happy father's day flyer that i am designing so i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop hit on ctrl t to make a transformation to the edges of the rulers all right so and then i'll drag this one also here like this i just want the whole thing to be aligned with the rulers all right so use my arrow keys to position the whole thing very well so hold on alt left click and then drag the happy to the downward like this okay so ctrl a select everything and then go for father so we're having this all right so ctrl a select everything and then change the font from acura to a font called ordinary okay so hit on v to accept the whole thing in photoshop ctrl t to make a transformation like this all right hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop and i will have this use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing to fit the ruler i have set all right so i'll still go back to my resources and then bring in this man holding his son's hand all right so i'll drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure to transform it to something small like this okay so ctrl t again to make a little bit of transformation to this use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing here all right so i still go for my father layer and then hold on alt left click and then drag the whole thing here so i'll hit on t to activate my text tool and then i'll go for um so e r s okay so i will have this so all right so what will happen here is that i will group the whole layer by holding on shift and then click on the three layers and then ctrl g the whole thing has been grouped okay so ctrl t to make a transformation 
on that okay so i'll be having this Con and then hit on enter so control z to undo this so i think the happy layer is included so i'll make sure i will not group the happy layer so i'll still go for the group one again control t and then i'll make a transformation out of that so i'll be having this one here like that hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop and then use my arrow keys to drag this one here like this and then i'll still come back for my father holding his son son uh, son's hand and then i'll drag the whole thing here Control t and then i'll make a little bit of transformation out of that okay so i'll be having this like that okay so Control t again just take your time when doing all this stuff okay and then i'll save the whole thing in photo shop all right so i'll go for the group and then right click and then i'll move to the blending options and then i'll add a gradient overlay to this so i'll hit on gradient overlay and then this is actually the gradient overlay i am using for this particular document all right so this is exactly what we'll be doing all right so i'll right click on the layer to copy the layer style and then i'll come back to my father father's layer and then i'll give it um the same color so we're having this all right so happy father's um day all right so i'll still hit on t to activate my test tool and then left click to add the day so we'll be having this control a select everything and then make sure that the whole thing is in caps like this all right so control t to make a transformation for that so also we'll be having this all right just make sure the whole thing is fitted to the rulers you have set all right then i'll come to the top here and then drag the whole thing here like this hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop okay so we'll be having this there like that okay all right so the next thing to do is to go for my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle here like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a reddish color so we'll be using this color for the rectangle all right so i'll use my arrow key to drag the whole thing on top like that all right so i'll now move back to my notepad and then copy the date for this event so Control c the whole thing has been copied and then i'll hit on t to activate my test tool again and then Control v and then paste what i've been copied Control a select everything here like this and then make sure you accept the whole thing in photoshop like this hit on v to activate your move to control t to make a little bit of transformations to the and then hit on enter and then i'll drag the whole thing on top of the rectangle i have created so i'll be having this there all right so i'll still move back to my notepad and then copy this special code made for our fathers all right so control c to copy the whole thing and then i'll hit on t to activate my test tool and then i'll drag and i'll drag something like this and then i'll hit on paste to paste the whole thing there like this all right so i know what is happening already so i will change the font from novel var to a font called real way all right so i will delete the whole thing like this and then control v to paste what has been copied from the notepad so i'll open the whole thing up a little bit like this and then make sure that i am doing the right thing here all right so just take your time when doing all these stuff all right so just open the whole thing up like this all right so yes control a select everything and then open the whole thing up like this all right and then i will change the size from light extra to bold and i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like this all right so control t to make a transformation out of that i think this is too big and then i'll drag the whole thing here and then i also have to transform here as well so i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop all right drag the whole thing on top like this all right so i have to also draw a very nice rectangle at the bottom of the document so i'll have this here and then i'll make sure to change the color from red to a yellowish color so we'll be having this 
there like that all right use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this and then i'll finally go for my image and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top of the uh rectangle i have created all right so we'll be having this there so i'll be adding a rounded rectangle to this um document so i will draw a very nice rounded rectangle here and then make sure to change the color from yellowish to something blue all right so i'm actually using the background color for this rounded rectangle all right so hit on t to activate your test tool again and then we'll have something like this all right so we'll be having this there Control a select everything and then make sure to resize it to fit onto the rounded rectangle all right so we we'll accept the whole thing in photoshop and then we drag the whole thing on top of the rounded rectangle Control t again and then add a little bit of transformations to that and then hit on enter use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing here all right and then i'll make sure the whole thing is fitted on the rounded rectangle all right so the final thing to do is to go for uh my color adjustment area and then i'll add a curve to this the whole thing looks so pale all right so i only drag the whole thing to become something like this all right and then i think this look very beautiful i will again go back to my rectangle and then let's try to change the color to um something like this okay let's try this all right so let's use this yellow color all right so i'll right click on each layer and then i'll move to the blending options all right and then i'll add a shadow to it all right so i'll hit on ok all right guys i want to thank you all for having time with me for this particular tutorial and i want to say may god richly bless you all and i am out